thank you for saving me. We worship the music. All right, Saints of God. Won't you forget about all your troubles and your strife? We receive the power. It's right now, it ain't about. Welcome to Blackwell's Bench. Again, we're going to dive into the word and talk about a particular scripture. Today, we're going to talk about Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 and 2. Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 and 2. I'm going to be reading from the NIV version. This is what it says. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Folks, listen, there's times that we go through this life and we look at others and we say, ooh, what's wrong with him? And we start judging and we start casting our feelings on other people. This is what this scripture is talking about. We shouldn't judge because the same measure that we judge others, the same measure, if we judge them harshly, if we treat them badly, if we do bad things to them, that same judgment is going to come on to us. The Bible clearly states in Luke, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This is what this scripture is talking about. We should not be going around judging other people, what they're doing. They have to work out their own salvation. The Bible says that we will know, they will know my people because of their love. We have to love everyone. We have to do things for others in love. We have to correct in love. We have to seek out love for all others in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. That's the love chapter. Read it someday and you'll see that love doesn't hold any account of wrong. So we shouldn't be judging others because if we judge others, we're gonna be judged by that same measure. Now I'm not saying stand for wrong and let people do wrong, no, no, no. What I'm saying is that we shouldn't judge them harshly. We should take them to the side and say, hey brother, listen, I understand this is something that you're doing wrong, but can I help you with that? Help others. The Bible says that the strong have to bear the infirmities of the weak. This is what we're here for. We're here to love everybody, to seek out and help others get to heaven. We have so much on our own plate that we need to worry about us and stop judging others and just help others. Remember, I'm going to show you something. When you point a finger at somebody, there's three of them pointing back at you. There's three of them pointing back at you. Just remember that. So when you point, just remember, there's three pointing back at you. If you go on the further, in verse 3 it says, Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay not attention to the plank in your own. We're worried about that little thing that your little brother's doing, little thing that your sister's doing, and we over here pushing stuff under the rug, pushing this over here. Worry about ourselves. Get ourselves right with God. Work out our own soul salvation, and we will be all right. The Bible clearly states that we have to give an account to God. We have to stand up there. We're not going to stand up there with Josie and Henry and Harry and Steve. We're not going to stand up there with them. We're going to be standing by ourselves. Someone told me once that preach a sermon every day. Preach a sermon every day. But when you have to, use words. Like I always say, folks, there's a seat for everyone on Blackwell's bench. There's a seat for everyone on Blackwell's bench. I'd like you to subscribe to some of my favorite, favorite YouTube channels. PKT Max. 
Humble is the Way, Minute Parables, and also the Church TV Network. All right, guys. Talk to you. These are some other sister stations. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment on their videos. Blackwell's Bench!